Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I thought I would show you how I use the Dyson Airwrap. I get so many questions about how I use it, my tips, and I have got a video on my IGTV, but I thought it'd be good if I just posted one over here on my YouTube so it's a little bit more in depth. And you can just see how I'm using the curling barrel, the round brush, and also the hairdryer. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, um, I've already had a shower and washed my hair and I've just put it in a towel for probably about 20 minutes while I've got ready, just done a bit of like tidying up and done my makeup. So I'm gonna take it out of this towel and first things first, I just give it a brush. I'm using a wet brush. Um, I really like these because they're really gentle on your hair. They don't pull it at all and they are designed to brush wet hair so you're not going to get any rips or anything like that and it just glides through tangles really really easily so i don't have my extensions in obviously which i'm really sad about because i absolutely loved having the extensions in and i'm definitely going to be getting them back as soon as we can um so my hair is a lot finer and a lot shorter so I like to give as much volume and as much thickness as I possibly can into my hair. Hair is now brushed. I've just changed the angle a little bit because it was a little bit high. And I'm just gonna start by popping in some heat protectant. I'm using the L'Oreal Steam Pod Steam Activated Cream. And I really, really like this. It's not heavy at all. I put about this much on my hair. I prefer using a cream to a spray. So I feel like I'm not wasting any product and I'm putting a good amount on um, but not too much that it's going to get greasy or feel like I've got too much product in it's really lightweight so my hair is already kind of towel dried it's not dripping wet um, that's usually how I like to start blow drying my hair just so I'm not using as much heat even though the air wrap is really good for protecting your hair as the heat is not as high and um, it's not going to damage your hair as much as a normal hair dryer. So the first thing I do is blow dry my hair. I have the blow dry attachment on the top and I have the heat and the fan settings to the top. <laughs> So once I feel like I've dried the majority of my hair, I'm just gonna brush it through again. And when I was blow drying my hair, I like to tip my head upside down to the left to the right because it gets that really nice volume in the root of my hair. So I really recommend doing that if you want to get more volume into your hair. So my hair is pretty much dry. It is still a little bit damp just at the roots. But that is absolutely fine. You can actually go straight in and curl your hair when I think it's 80% dry, they recommend. But I don't really like to do that. I find um, that these steps work really well for me to maintain the curl and also the volume. So I'm just going to make sure my parting is in the middle. Because it definitely isn't. I'm not too fussy about my parting because when I do style my hair, I have it quite um, kind of like loose anyway. I am now going to change the attachment on the head and pop on the round brush. And I really like to do this because, again, I feel like it adds a really nice bit of volume to the hair and also just kind of tapers off the ends. Um, my hair is quite fine at the ends, so I find this adds quite a bit of volume to the ends of my hair. First of all, I separate my fringe from um, my main hair. It's just these two shorter bits of hair where I used to have um, a curtain fringe or like side bangs or whatever you want to call it. And these bits are just greying out. So I'm going to start by curling those and then putting them to one side. <laughs> So 
So when I do that, I just kind of hold the brush around my hair like that and then I pull it down and just keep turning as it gets to the end of the hair. And then I just repeat it the other side and that's how you get that really nice kind of flick. And then I just pop that over to one side. You can clip it if you want, but I just literally do that. And then separate it at the back. And this is when I start to add just little bits of volume into the different sections of hair. So I like to start at the front and just take a section like this. Okay, so you can see I've just flicked out those end sections and then with this front bit I just add a lot of volume and then I just put it over to that side so that it's out the way um, and it's more just about creating air near the root um, because I find that the Dyson really adds a lot of air into the root and that is kind of what creates that really voluminous effect as you can see from this side which is completely straight. Um, so yeah, this, all, this side already looks fuller and thicker compared to this side, which looks quite limp. So I'm just gonna take my little fringe section and just pop it over to the other side for now and then just do basically the exact same to the other side. Okay, so that's the other side done and then I just separate it out with my hands a little bit and then you can really see the volume. Sometimes I will just leave my hair like this if I just want it to be kind of straight and voluminous. Other times I go in with more of a curl which I'm going to show you now. So I changed the attachment from the round brush to the um, curling one and this is just the normal short one you do get two in a pack so you can use one for one side so it goes out one the other side that goes out I don't do that I just use the same one um, I don't like to spend loads of time getting ready in the morning so this is like usually what I do to just make it super quick and I also find that these curls will last me quite a long time um, I can curl my hair today um, and then Tomorrow my hair will still be nice, I'll put some dry shampoo in and then the next day I'll usually do a ponytail and the ponytail will still look like a blow dry. So let me just show you how I do the curls. Firstly I just take my fringe. I always like to just start with the fringe because I feel like you can go back to it at the end if it doesn't look how you want. I just take the whole piece of hair and just literally wrap it around the barrel and I let the air do the work. One thing that you can do with your curls is you can use the highest setting to create the curl and then when you hold your hair on the barrel like this you can then switch to the cooler setting just by going down um, set it with the cooler setting and then turn it off and then let the curl drop out sometimes if i'm spending a little bit longer on my hair that is what i'll do but most of the time i literally just do the hot setting and that's it Okay, so that is one side nice and curled. You can see it does just look like a blow dry. Um, so I'm just gonna take my fringe over to the other side and literally just do the same on this side. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the other side. One thing you might have noticed me doing is just twisting the curl when I take it out of the, take it off the barrel. I just twist it in the direction that I want it to fall, which is just away from my head on both sides. Um, and I just feel like that allows it to kind of set in that shape a little bit and just cool down. But that is literally all I do. Um, and yeah, I don't really put any product in my hair kind of like day to day. If I do, I use the Way texturizing spray, which I will leave everything linked down below. But that is literally how I do my kind of everyday bouncy blow dry with the Dyson Air app. It's so easy. If you want to, you can create more of a smoother look and just brush it through. Um, if you're worried about your hair not holding with the Air app, one thing I would suggest is to use a good heat protectant, maybe try doing it on like second day hair rather than freshly washed hair. Um, and also use the cooling setting method because that often does help. Um, I also find if I don't touch my hair much in the day, it stays much longer and I sleep with my hair in a really loose bun, which just allows it to kind of stay in that really nice curl. But yeah, that is literally all I do. I hope that was interesting and helpful for you. Let me know if you do try out any of the tips that I've shared and I will see you in my next video. Bye.